How's it going you guys? Have you guys ever wanted to know more about your favorite YouTuber? Well, let me quickly ask you guys, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, today we have a YouTuber who has been taking over the internet in a really big way. And he's also inspired millions of people. So this right here is the top 10 Cali Muscle interesting facts. And we actually have him here with us helping us out on this video. Because I'm too afraid to get anything wrong. Hey, hey what's up with you guys? Cali Muscle here. Oh, look at all that muscle. Good grief. So, I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to tell a little bit about myself. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into a ton of information about Cali Muscle. So starting us off like we always do in at number 10. Who is Cali Muscle? Hey, hey, what's up with the guys? Got Cali Muscle here. And I want to give you an introduction of what Cali Muscle YouTube page is all about. He was born and raised in Oakland, California back on February 18th, 1975. Kelly grew up in a neighborhood afflicted by crime and poverty. He was one of three kids who was raised by his mom and his stepfather. Kelly always grew up as what he calls being the black sheep of the family. And earlier on in life, Kelly had to overcome a lot of obstacles. But these obstacles made him who he is today. And with his experience, he now motivates and teaches millions of people how to overcome hardships. And we're gonna be talking about the hardships throughout this video. Cali Muscle back in 2008 decided to make a YouTube channel called Cali Muscle where he posts motivational videos, fitness videos, and even some vlog videos. If you guys want to go check that out, click right over here and also I'll put his channel link, his video link in the description below. And he just recently hit over 1 million subscribers which is a huge milestone so a huge congratulations goes out to him. Moving into number 9, let's find out why he decided to create a YouTube channel. Let's hear from him. Well I was introduced uh, 8 years ago to a videographer and he seen my physique and he was like let's film a workout video or something what are you good at and so we went to the pull-up bars in Oakland and I did 45 straight pull-ups talking the whole time and so I did that video and at the time it wasn't no pay so it was all for fun so I read the comments on that video everybody was complaining talking crap about me not doing the pull-ups all the way up past my chin so I said oh yeah they talking crap Let's go film another one. That video kind of went viral. I guess it's viral for that time period. So that was my inspiration actually to start YouTube. All right, number eight, like we mentioned before, Callie had to overcome a lot of obstacles in his life, earlier on in his life. And he often shared his stories with millions online via YouTube. Tragedy struck his family when his older brother was killed after messing around with a gun. Callie also had a lot of suffering in the 90s. He was arrested and ended up in San Quentin State Prison located in California for armed robbery. He spent about seven years there in what he called one of the craziest prisons ever. So let's hear from him what that crazy experience was like. Well, to be sent to prison, I'm, you know, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but when I was went to jail first, county jail, Fresno County Jail, I felt at home. When I look back on it, I'm like, this was all meant to be. It was like I've been there before. When I think about it, it's strange. I had a $2,000 bail. My family wanted to bail me out, and I told them, no, I was going to stay in jail, which is weird, you know, for a college student that was, you know, living and had aspirations of going to the NFL. And so I got institutionalized within a month in jail, but I felt comfortable as soon as I went because I was already buff, and in jail, people look at you as a guy when you're buff. And not to mention, I was like a celebrity because my story was on the news in Fresno. I wasn't missing anything, to be truthful. I was able to work out, which was my love, so I fit right in to the situation. So, in 1997, when they took the weights, it was dramatic because that was my life in California prisons. I wrote out a book on how to improvise without weight, what I was going to do when they took the weights. But it let me know at that point that I had to learn how to improvise. Because I still had four years left remaining on my sentence, seven year sentence, when they took the weights. So I got three years of with the weight, maybe three and a half years with weights, and after that it was all improvision. At number seven, let's find out how, you know, the prison has changed his life. Prison, truthfully, it made me worse, just being honest. 
it didn't change my life at that time. It made me worse because I got kind of big headed far as I got out, you know, I was in prison. I was looked at as a God. I ran the game. So it gave me this power. You know, it didn't ch change my life for the worse, to be truthful. I read a ton of books, thousands of books, because me and my buddies, we would uh, challenge each other to read books fast. So we'd read a whole book in a day or two. And so I was always into reading and gaining knowledge all my life since I was a kid. It took a lot to overcome the bad path. And it's still, it's like a soldier in the army that has post-traumatic. It's, it's, it's a struggle daily, still to this day, and I've been out 10 years. It's like a sickness almost, like a drug addict. That's why most guys go back because once that fear and struggle hit, they be like, oh, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Telling people about my bad, my past life, that's what keep me positive. Helping everybody going into juvenile halls, going to fit expos, doing these videos, or saying motivational, inspirational stuff that comes to me from the universe and God. You know, to be where top YouTubers are, people don't realize it's a lot of mental that comes along with it. So let's find out at number six, what life was like for him after prison. Life after prison was hard to adjust to. First thing come to my mind is doing something stupid. Another thing is, uh, to this day, after 10 years of being out, I don't like people standing close behind me or close on me. Even when I got into the acting business, like they want you almost up in people's face. So I had to break that uncomfortability to get adjusted to. Like I said, it's just like a soldier in the war. Same type of mentality, because for me, I was, when I was incarcerated, it was a war, basically, because I was the head guy and that's who people come to get first. So I always had to be on my toes. And even now, you know, with this, so-called celebrity famous life I tell people that it's worse because now you get death threats people don't like you that you don't even know about so that's why you see celebrities now with bodyguards I wanted to be a person that was able to just live comfortable whatever it took that's why I did stripping modeling bodybuilding personal training barbering you know acting you know uh, to get financially secure you know I don't want to be greedy I'm not looking for billions of dollars I just want to be stable. Kalim also has been a huge inspiration to a lot of people, especially in the fitness world. So let's find out what got him into bodybuilding and wanting to change his body so extremely. Well, when I was a kid, my uncle, and you guys get my book, X Kind of I Kind, you'll see. My uncle was buff like me. Not as buff as I am now, of course, but he was buff. As a kid, that's what I saw. Then I got into sports. So my objective was to be the strongest and the fastest in sports. So I did all the training necessary to do that, you know, in 90 days of working out and eat over 6,000 calories a day. So that's what got me into weight training with sports. What keeps me going is knowing that my body is my asset to get financially secure and it motivates and inspires others now. Working out and training for me is like an average person eating a day like it's just normal you know and this is my gift i don't want to get any bigger i just want to look good and motivate people show them that even though you could go down a wrong road that you can get back on the right road people come on and say somebody bigger than me or stronger i never cared about that i'm not competing with nobody or looking at i never looked at another individual say i want to look like them or be like them or i just know what god gave me so i utilize that to the max number five like i said before cali muscle has been a huge presence on youtube and on social media so let's talk about that very quickly cali muscle has over 184 million views here on youtube he gains about 5 million views a month and this number is steadily growing. Recently, his subscribers per day is also increasing. He has been getting thousands daily. On Instagram at Cali Muscle, you guys can find him over there, he has around 500,000 followers. He often posts competitions he's in and also his fitness routines and you can see a whole lot of muscle, a whole lot of inspiration. Cali has been posting videos on his channel very often. Cali's most viewed video is titled Cali Muscle Chest Workout with 200 pound dumbbell press. This video has around 12 million views and that's at the time of this recording, which is so insane when you think about it. <sighs> Gotta blow the dust off of them. Right. Right. right.
Now at number four, because of Callie's bodybuilding, it has put him into the world of entertainment. So let's find out, you know, what opportunities, you know, movie roles or anything else that because of bodybuilding, what has that done for his life? So some movies I've been in, whew, it's, it's a lot. Dog to Save the Holidays, White Tea, man, the list goes on. Now we have put the IMDB.com. I have two movies coming out right now. They named one a Big Shot and another one I played a monster in. Currently, I'm shooting just a ton of YouTube videos because what I've learned is and I moved from LA. You know, I'm now residing at the moment in Las Vegas because there was no reason for me to sit around Los Angeles, Hollywood and wait on a job when I my job is daily on YouTube. I just shot with uh, Disney, Makers Disney, uh, Can I Crush a series where I'm crushing a lot of items and that'll be all over uh, Vu and Slinger and PlayStation Vu and all that stuff. So Mari, man, being on Mari was the most exhilarating thing I did because I thought it was fake. I went in thinking the Mari Pover show was scripted, fake like most people do. It's real. And the first one I shot was men that beat women. They're women. It was intense. So it was real serious, man. And then I did the second episode with the young girls. That was more intense because I was dealing with girls and young girls at that. So I wanted to come across in the right aspect. Gratifying like crazy. Maury Pover show, I give him the utmost respect, man. He saved a lot of lives and do it a lot. Number three, a lot of people watch Cali Muscles because they want to be inspired and maybe get bigger themselves. So Cali Muscle, what are a few tips that you would give to you know us beginners who want to start off? Or for those who want to take bodybuilding to the next level? You have to find your purpose with working out. A lot of people doing it for whatever reason, you gotta stay consistent, that's the key, and have fun. That's the number one key. A lot of people don't have fun. I see trainers in the gym doing some crazy stuff with their clients, you know, and it's just hurting them. They're not having fun. They gas up for air, feel like they go die. Don't make it a job. And I love it more every day because with me, a lot of people force it. Go 5 a.m., 6 a.m., oh, you gotta get up and work out. Me, I found a time that was suitable for for my schedule so the key truthfully is to eat right as long as you're eating right and healthy which i'm scared of this food nowadays because so much in it that's the key stay consistent have fun that's why i promote fun on my channel comedy actually is my therapy i love comedy more than everything so just stay consistent to have fun that's the key and number two let's find out who are the people that inspire cali muscles floyd mayweather uh, sean diddy Cone, people like the rock wayne john People that came from nothing and made some of themselves just overcame all the obstacles. Bill Gates, I look at people like that. Some of these people would work 20 hour days. Those are my inspirations, people like that, man. Even Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, we talk a lot and he's one of my inspirations because he came from another country and just overcame everything. So those are my type of inspirations. Now at number one, let's find out, you know, what is next for Cali Muscle? Continue on with my YouTube channel. I wanna inspire the world, man. I wanna be a worldwide name and I'm making my my rounds every year is building and building you know I go to fit expos and talk to thousands of people and stand on my feet eight nine hours for two days straight so I'm able to touch a lot of lives truthfully I see myself back acting but uh that's my ultimate goal is to get into blockbuster movies so in five ten years I see myself with a family kids motivating millions of people around the world and being a worldwide name so I want to thank you guys for this opportunity make sure you go get my book XCOM the icon KaliMuscle.com is the website I have some motivating music I started doing music I have two albums out I have some great things I have a clothing line with uh, 500 items 600 items excuse me and it's just it's just great so with that I want to thank you guys keep pushing for success never stop never let nobody tell you you can't do something because you can and I can bear witness I'm your example that you can make it and with that I love y'all and get your little bicep <clears throat> Well, thank you, Callie Muscle, for making this video for us, and hopefully we can make more in the future. So thanks so much for that. Congrats on all of your success and hitting that milestone of 1 million subscribers very recently. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.